this is what the default headlights look like in Assetto Corsa. And this is what they look like with some minor adjustment. As you can see, they're much brighter, they're much wider, and they also reach further down the road. With that, let me show you how to adjust the headlights in your game, and I'll also tell you my recommended settings at the end of this video. Now, the first thing you're gonna want to do is open up your content manager. I'm assuming you have content manager and custom shaders patch already installed since we will need them for this tutorial. Now, you're gonna go into settings, custom shaders patch and find lighting FX. Here, the first thing that we're going to adjust is the headlights wideness. You can drag this slider up and down to select values between 50% and 250%. Here's a comparison using the same car with 50%, 100% and 250% wideness. As you can tell, the wideness of the foreground lighting that is directly in front of the car is the same for all of them, however, the actual beam of light that is in front of the car varies depending on the setting that we have it selected from Content Manager. In this case, you can obviously see that 100% wideness is significantly wider than 50% and 250% wideness is as wide as the foreground lighting. It's important to note when doing this that different mods have different lights, so don't be surprised if some mods act differently to the default Kunos cars or even to other mods. To explain this, here I have an EVO 10 mod at the bottom and a different EVO 10 mod at the top. The first thing you'll be able to notice is the lighting temperature, that is, the actual color of the lights themselves. The EVO at the top has almost a blue tint to it, while the EVO at the bottom is nearly pure white. Next up is the light intensity. Even though I'm using the same contrast and brightness setting, you can clearly see that there's a difference between them. The EVO at the top has less intensity, so you can clearly see all of the objects in front of the car with ease. By contrast, the lights on the bottom EVO are so intense that they completely overpower everything. Lastly, I threw in an EVO 4 to the mix just to show you that some older cars might have yellowish headlights on the account of their halogen headlights. Last but not least, I want to point out that different mods will have different cutoff slopes and cutoff heights depending on the mod. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the intensity of the lights in game. First off, open up your apps and select Soul Plan Selector. From this little tab, we'll be using the Car Lit Multiplier to adjust the brightness of the headlights, that is, their intensity. It's important not to mix the Car Lit Multiplier with the simple Lit Multiplier above. Even though the Lit Multiplier can make your lights brighter, it will also affect all of the lights present on the map or the track. This can make everything look way too bright, so I suggest leaving the lit multiplier to 100. To adjust the brightness of the headlights, you can use the car lit multiplier slider. This will only affect the headlights of the car itself and not other lights present on the track. I also want to point out that Soul Planner is track specific, meaning that, let's say you use Nürburgring to set up these settings. If you then change to a different track, you'll need to do this again. Here's a quick comparison between 50% light multiplier, 100%, 200% and 300%. As you can see, the wideness of the lights hasn't changed at all. What has changed is the intensity of the light in front of the car. You can see that the white lines to the left and to the right of the car are still visible at 300% light multiplier and at 50% light multiplier. Now let's talk about lights distance. You can adjust how far the lights travel by using this headlights range slider. If I set headlights range to 100%, you can now see that the headlights stretch out much further than they did before. If I go a step further and put the headlights range to 200%, you can now clearly see the billboards in front of the car that weren't visible before. If I go a step beyond that and put headlights range to something ridiculous like 580%, you can now even see the fence at the end of this track and if there was something behind that fence you'd be able to see it as well. This is obviously unrealistic though because if I move the car here, you'll be able to see these trees which are super far away being lit up with the same intensity as if they were much much closer. 
So, let's bring down headlights range to something more sensible, like 170% and there we go. Again, here's a comparison between 50% distance, 100% distance and something crazy and ridiculous like 600% distance. At 50% distance, it's almost like you're running low beams. The cutoff is clean and sharp. Everything above the cutoff is almost completely black. At 100% distance, you can now see way further down the track, so much so that you can even see the billboards which are quite far away. At 600%, you can obviously see everything in front of you and everything is well illuminated. If we use this wall to the right as our guide, you can see that at 50% distance, the wall is no longer illuminated at the same place the cutoff ends. At 100%, the wall is obviously much more illuminated, but there's still a nice gradual light dispersion. Then, at 600% distance, everything, and I mean everything, is completely too bright and overexposed, so much so that it almost seems unrealistic. Unless you have some special NASA lasers, there's no way any light would be able to do this. To explain what to avoid when setting up your lights, I've set up a little demonstration. With the headlight range at 200% and the car light multiplier at 100%, we can see a little bit of this mountain range across this valley, but not too much. If we put the headlight range at 420%, we can now see a lot more of the mountain range on the other side, but it's still not too bright. Now, if we put the car light multiplier at 200% on top of that, you can begin to see how ridiculous this looks. The road right in front of the car is lit up with the same intensity as the mountain which is quite far away, which is obviously unrealistic. Now to fix this, we can simply put the headlights range at 200% while keeping the car lit multiplier at 200. This way we can have nice bright lights illuminating the road in front of the car, but not the mountain which is a mile away. Here's a little side by side comparison to show you that the bottom setup looks more realistic even though the lights are brighter. Finally, here's one more example of why headlights range is so important. At 50%, this BMW M3 only illuminates the road ahead and nothing else. But if we go to 240% headlights range, we can now clearly see inside those houses, which are like a mile away, and this is completely unrealistic and it's something we don't want. So with that out of the way, here are my recommended setups. If you mainly use newer cars which use LED or xenon projectors, you want to set up the headlight wideness in Content Manager anywhere between 200 and 250%. I personally use 250% for all modern cars. For the car lit multiplier, which dictates how bright and how intense the headlights are, I suggest using anywhere between 150 and 200%. This will give you a really nice and bright light output that isn't too overpowering or too unrealistic. Finally, for distance, I suggest using anywhere between 100 and 150 headlights range. This will give you lights which have a nice reach that is pretty similar to modern cars which use LED or xenon headlights. I strongly suggest not going over 150% distance because at that point it begins to look a little bit weird. If, on the other hand, you mainly use older cars, which use halogen style headlights, these are the settings you want to use. Start by setting the headlight wideness in Content Manager anywhere between 100 and 150%. This is ideal because naturally halogen headlights have a much narrower beam compared to LED headlights. Then, for the car lit multiplier, I strongly suggest using anywhere between 100 to 130%. Halogen headlights are much less intense compared to modern xenon or LED headlights, so if you want to capture that old school halogen vibe, this is the sweet spot. Lastly, for distance, you don't want to be using the same values of 170% like we did with the modern cars. For cars equipped with halogen lights and in general older cars, I suggest using a distance between 50 and 100% maximum. One thing I want to point out is that if you're a pure user and you go to your apps and pure config, you can actually tweak the lights from here as well. From light and then CSP lights, you can basically use the bounce and the emissive slider to tweak and adjust basically every light present on the track. 
This will affect every light on the track and not just the car lights. If you don't know what you're doing though, I suggest leaving this thing alone since the stock configuration works pretty well anyway. Alternatively, you can use my pure presets from my other pure video and you can use the things I taught you in this tutorial to adjust the headlights to your liking. That's pretty much it for this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you can, I'll have more tutorials coming up soon.